Hi guys, Harmless Farmer here. Uh, today we're heading to Columbus, Ohio to the Fair Managers Convention. I sit on the Champaign County Agricultural Society as a board member for, Sh for Salem Township. And one of the things we do is we're the fair board at the Champaign County Fair. Very fortunate to have the fair that we have We've got 26 excellent fair board members that really pull together and do their part to put on a great Champaign County Fair. If you're ever in the area, the first full week of August is the Champaign County Fair located in Urbana, Ohio. The Fair Managers Convention, I've never been there. This is going to be my first time. Uh, what they do over there is it's where you can book entertainment for your fair, uh, amusement rides, concessions, about anything you would need to put on a county fair. There's all kinds of seminars you can sit in on. So what we're kind of, this is going to be a learning experience today. We're going to go over here and we're going to sign in and walk around a little bit and sit in on a seminar and there's a trade show we're going to walk around on it. I know a couple of the people that are at the trade show as vendors. We're going to stop and talk to them and we'll go from there. So I'll get you here in a little bit. It's, I don't know, what 10 o'clock in the morning and uh, we're heading there. I think it started around 8. But I had to feed round bales this morning and some different things like that. So we're going to cruise on over there and I'll talk at you here in a little bit. Hey guys, on our way to the manager's convention, thought I'd swing by Apple Farm Service. Do a little drive around here in Mechanicsburg, Ohio. They're a New Holland dealer. And... Looked like they had a bunch of stuff, so I thought we'd just cruise in and take a drive by and see what we had in here. A T9 565. I don't know if that's 565 horse or what. Put in the comments below if you know. Don't know a lot about New Hollands. I do own one. Eh, I'd try it. I don't know if I'd buy it, but I'd run it. Got a CR890. Draper head on the front of it. It's pretty cool. Man, look at that old dog. A 4030. Man, this thing's been through the army, hadn't it? You guys might think I'm crazy, but I wouldn't mind having this tractor. You could buy it right. Hmm. Ah, yeah, it's the loader bracket. This thing was a loader tractor. Hell, it's power steer. It's power shift. I wonder if we can tell how many hours are on. I probably can't even get on it. <sighs> that says only 917 hours. 
<laughs> Laugh out loud. What a beast. Four fifty, that must mean four hundred and fifty horse. Look at that hitch. That is pretty cool. That is cool. And they got a boatload of stuff. I haven't been in here in a while. That's where my loader tractor came from. TN75A. It's all right. Got a shoddy rock picker over there. That thing is cool. New turd hearsts. Well, they're pretty, aren't they? I'll be dang. Well, I gotta get going, guys. Gotta get to the convention. How you doing? Hey guys, we're gonna take another short detour here. On down the road from Apple Farm Service, about all oh, 10 miles toward Columbus. There's another dealership. We're gonna swing in here and look at it. It's uh, it's only fitting we stop and look at it. We saw blue, and we saw a little bit of red. So now we're gonna see some green. Great big track tractor there, a 9420. An old dog, an 8630. Well, they got a boatload of stuff. All cool stuff. An old 83. A 3020. That's cool. We're at JD Equipment. Now it's since changed hands and I can't remember what the new name is. But they've got a boatload of stuff. The big town of Columbus. The traffic's ridiculous. But I screwed around and I'm the ways and it's late. I'm late getting here, so it'll be fine. But we're gonna ram in through here, wind our way in through traffic, and see if we can find us a place to park and get back with you after we do that. Alright guys, we made it. Uh, we're at the in the parking lot of the fair convention. So gonna roll in there and uh Maybe get some video in there. We'll see. All right, guys. Did the fair manager's thing. Got my badge right here. Went and did that. Walked around and talked to several people. And uh, on the way home here, so thought we'd stop by another place. Look at some antique stuff. We're at Tri Green. So we're going to drive around here and see what stuff looks like boy howdy will you look at that a 6600 
This thing was a beast in the day. Six row. Got the side door open here on it. We'll take a gander in here. Looks like everything's in place. I don't see any places that the bearings are ripped clear out of it or anything. Oh, we got a rag stuck in the clean grain elevator here. Don't know what the story is on that. Looks like it's got stuff dripping out of it. The back end didn't all beat up on it. Ah, oh, there's a couple little dents. Yeah, I've got dragging the chain there. The old myth. Look up in the back here. I don't know if you guys will be able to see anything up in here or not. Still got straw in it. Clear up in here and the walkers got straw hanging out of it. Looks like they did a fast shutdown on it. Something could quite possibly have flown to pieces in her. Well, she was a beast in the day there. Oh, I see a pole it's sideways. Get up there in a sec. What we got us a hydraulic leak here leaking down on the tire. Oh, well, looks like stuff that could be fixed. Yeah, this pulley right up here, it's all shifted sideways. Yep, she's a beast. How about that? Hell, the tire's still holding there. That's some technology in the day, boys. It would be cool to have something like this. I don't know what the heck I'd do with it. About like that thrashing machine I got. I don't know what I'll do with it. What we got for an engine up there? I bet it's a... Probably a Continental or something. Wisconsin, maybe. I don't know. Be cool to have it. I don't know if you can see that or not. What a cool machine. Oh, we can see into the cylinder. Brass bars, they're not too bad. If you're in the market for a 670B grader, I have one here. These things are cool.
been here a day or two. Wonder if it rides. Got a hitch on it. Boy, you could make a mess in a hurry with this thing, couldn't you? If it runs. It might not even run, you never know. Looks like everything's there. It doesn't look like it's too loose. But I don't know who that does. Of course, I have no clue what I'm looking at. We're just looking at it, and I'm showing it to you because I think it's cool. All kinds of levers up there. Look, come down and go up. Yep, it's pretty cool. Okay, guys, I don't know much about skid loaders because I've never had one. That there, a big one. Bobcat. It appears the engine is in pieces. Well, this is the biggest Bobcat I've ever, this is the biggest skid loader I've ever seen. This is Bobcat, but I can't see the numbers. Perkins engine. Got the head off of it, wonder where it is. A 980 skid steer. Say if anyone wants it. Yeah, it's that's a big one. A John Deere 30 combine. We'll go dig on it. Don't know what year it is. Early, late 50s maybe. Early 60s. Looks like it's all there. Pretty cool. Got a crack in the hitch right there. It's all could be fixed. Thirty. Oh, here. I don't know what you can see there, but I'm not going to take my shoe off to try to. Pretty cool. Got a 724 diesel here. Not familiar with them at all. In fact, I've never heard of one. Of course, I'm not a red person. They squirted some paint on her to make her look like them. Wheels are pretty. I had a 4,000. In fact, Dad and John bought it, uh, I forget when. It was a 74 or 75 model. They didn't buy it new, but it was only a few years old when they bought it. 
It was a pretty good one. Thirty-four hundred hours. I got the key on. Set that off for him. That fluid leaking out the tire. Doesn't have any hydraulics out the back, but it's got something up there where you can hook one to it. Don't quite know what the story is on it. Ooh, look at that one. That one's eating out. Didn't see that first on the big 724. Yeah, there's some type of hydraulic thing, but they're, that's all. Hmm. All right, while we're here, we gotta look at the 80. 806 gas. Got, got rags wrapped around stuff, so it'll run. These were a good one. Got 34s on it. 18434s. It isn't in that bad a shape, really. It's just a gasser. I think the Poland guys are putting like a DT 466 engine in them out of a truck antique polars I think that's what they're doing cool looking old tractor though they're a good looking tractor Imagine the front end shot on it. They always are. Oh yeah, boy. We can move her. We can move her. Other than that, of course you never know what the rear end looks like. Of course, being a gasser, probably isn't too bad. Thanks for riding along with me today. I know we had a couple detours we had to take stopping at the the uh, New Holland and the John Deere and then the Tri-Green equipment, but uh, oh, that's just what you have when you go on a trip like this. But uh, I'm heading home right now, get the animals fed, and about time for supper. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscription button. If uh, you don't know it, you need to sign up on YouTube. And there's a free thing on there where you just sign up and you get a username and such. And uh, then hit that subscribe button. Um, hit the thumbs up. Leave me comments. Thanks for watching, guys.